What's up everyone? This is Rakesh you once again welcome to the session of Oracle SQL. So guys in our last session what we have discussed? We have discussed the what? What we have discussed? We have discussed the init cap function. So that is the thing which we have discussed in our last session. So what exactly we are going to discuss the today? Today we are going to discuss the concatenation function last to last time we have discussed the concatenation operator now today we are going to discuss the concatenation function it's a function not its operator okay so that is the topic which we are going to discuss over here so guys what is concatenation function is concatenation function is nothing but it is used to combine two columns which is having the uh, character data type so that is nothing but your concatenation function now you can say that can you give me one example yes i can give you an example let's say for example if you want to combine the first name and the last name and if you if you want to display in the third column uh, both uh, first name and last name then how what you can do you can use the concatenation function now few things you need to take care about the concatenation function that is nothing but first one uh, the concatenation functions always and always takes only two arguments always it's take the character uh, uh, character column or a character string and it returns always and always uh, character data type or in other words what i can say that it uh, whatever the third column which is generated by the concatenation function that will be always and always will be the character so that is the thing which we or i would like to say you okay so that is nothing but your concatenation function now let's go for the practical so guys just right now we have seen the theory part of the concat function now it's time for the practice so before we go for the practice i would like to show you the original content on which i am going to use the concatenation function so let me show so as you can see over here this is the query which i have written in order to get the few records from the employee table in which i am retrieving the first name last name from the employee table and what is the employee's id these are the records i am retrieving from the employee table now let me run so this is the original content and this is the original columns okay now what i want i want one more column over here somewhere with the concatenation or I want to concatenate the first name and the last name should be in the single column then how I can do it I can do it with the help of concatenation operator so let me do so what I need to do over here let me check whether I have it no uh, so what I want I want first name and the last name in the one column so what I can do I can concatenate over here can do like this so as you can see over here this is the original content now after the concatenation this is the third column okay the concatenation this is the result so both got concatenation okay now over here you can uh, see uh, only we have passed two parameter so what is the constraint in the concatenation function you can pass only two parameters okay although we will see the difference between the concatenation operator concatenation operator and the concatenation function this is nothing but okay that we will see in the moment okay now let me show you the some another kind of concatenation use so as you can see over here i have used the first name and then salary column and into that i have multiplied with the 10 and then two arguments i have concatenate so let me run so this is also you can use so over here you can see i have concatenated this column with this and in this i have multiplied the uh, with the 10 and then after that i have concatenate with the first name so as you can see over here steven and then it got multiplied with the 10 which is no, nothing but it's uh, around 2 lakh 40,000 okay so this is you can see where so this is also you can use now <clears throat> let me discuss the difference between the concatenation operator and the concatenation function so in the concatenation function guys you can pass only two parameters 
not more than two but in the concatenation operator you can give a number of parameters so let me show you or let me recall my previous session in which i have shown the concatenation operator so guys as you can see over here a concatenation operator earlier we have used like this but in which now you can see multiple columns i can pass it or multiple parameters i can use it but in the concatenation function i cannot use you can see over here you so this is the main difference between the concatenation function and concatenation operators. So in short, what I can say that in concatenation operator, we can pass multiple parameters or I can say that I can use multiple columns in the concatenation operator. But in the concatenation function, I can use only two parameters or two columns. So this is the main difference between the concatenation operator and the concatenation function so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the concatenation function is and how exactly we need to use so now it's time for the assignment so let's have a look on the assignment And guys, if you like the video, then hit the like button, share it, subscribe it. Thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye-bye. Take care.